is good, y'all. Get the vibes, YouTube. In the last video, I said that I was going to be doing a how I got into UW video. And basically, I'm going to talk about my application process, my background information, and some helpful tips that I found helpful or that I saw helped for you, the viewer, or whoever is watching this. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So hopping right back into it. I graduated three years ago, class of 2017, with a class of around 180, 190 students. And I'm the first person from my family to graduate from high school and then go off to college. I'm a first generation college student. And starting off with high school, I graduated with a 3.89 GPA, which is fairly high out of 4.0. It's pretty good. and. Freshman year, I had a, like my lowest GPA of like 3.7. And then I remember this, all of sophomore year, I was able to get a 4.0. And then junior and senior year, my grades varied a little, but I tried my best to keep them high or as high as I could. High school wasn't the hardest for me. And it wasn't that like challenging because the education system back home wasn't the best. Um, it's gotten better over time and hopefully it will continue to get better, but it wasn't crazy hard. I took all of the honors classes that I could. Um, I've been an honors kid since like seventh and eighth or well, yeah, seventh and eighth grade, which is when they start offering them. And then that helped transitioning to high school and all throughout high school. And then I took some college and the high school classes, which are taught in the high school, but you're given college credit. So... I did that. So as for like high school, I guess I was an honors kid or I can be defined as an honors kid. And then I took all of the other like classes that would give me college credit that were considered college level. Then from there, my extracurriculars and like clubs, because although like school, I would go and like focus, do my thing, leave. I would do clubs and extracurriculars because I, I knew that they'd help me out in the long run whether it's just like doing something productive, but having fun at the same time. And then just like, you know, making better connections with my teachers and or the club, like mentors, leaders, whatever it is, they are called. <laughs> advisors, club advisors, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> but I was involved in, this is just a couple of them. I'm reading off over a document. I don't know if I've said that already, but I was in DECA Link Crew, which was like a mentorship thing for like, um, it was, you were either a junior or senior and you helped like the freshman class that was coming in transition and stuff like that. Then uh, Metro Robotics, which I was the captain of, the president, quote unquote. And then that's just a couple. And then I did some science like based competitions or just STEM things. That was Imagine Tomorrow, which is you're given like a prompt and you design technology for that. And you're basically imagining for tomorrow, right? And then Science Bowl, which is self-explanatory, is just a Science Bowl. Science questions, STEM questions, things like that. Those were a lot of fun. And then I played soccer for my high school. I wasn't the best and that doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, I played all four years of high school and then Community service. I have that in all caps because I started volunteering at the Habitat for Humanity like thrift store back home when I was fairly young. I was around 10 years old and I did it all throughout high school, which I graduated at 17 or age 17. So that's like seven years of community service. Although I started off fairly young, I couldn't do a lot and you know, stuff like that. But as time progressed, I saw how I could help the community help Habitat, the workers there, benefit our community. I served as like a translator. I would work at the cashier. I'd help price things. I just, I spent a lot of time there and just volunteered because I just, it was a lot of fun. And I found that they needed help, so it worked out. And then I also have this as a like a main part. Is a, I was really involved with my church. I was a drummer for a couple years up until I left um, back home. But then it was just a big part, and it still is a big part of like who I am. All right, yo, so that kind of cut me off. The game board like turned off, but that was the high school section. Basically, 
GPA, graduated at 3.89. I was very involved in high school. And then as for like standardized testing, the SAT and the ACT, my scores, I the SAT I got a 1,150, which is I guess below average, close to average, <laughs> I don't know. And then I took the ACT and got a 26, which that is comparing the two, given that they're like different scorings, different scales, ACT is better for me and my score was better. But I don't mess with standardized testing, didn't take it seriously the first time, I should have. Good thing I took them both twice, yeah. <laughs> So now that is like what is needed for, yeah, for college applications. I applied to, I think it was four or five schools, which all of them were universities here in Washington. So listing them off, Central, Central Washington University, Eastern Washington University, um, WSU, Washington State University, and then UW. I knew I was gonna stay in state. And um, basically, yeah, I got into all of them. Some of them gave me better like scholarships. Uh, one actually gave me a full ride and stuff like that, but UW was the best out of all, or the pool of applications or acceptance letters, in my opinion. And yeah, I just knew I wanted to come here. I started the applications, let's see, I'm pulling all this stuff up just so that it can be somewhat accurate or more accurate. Um, so I started my application kind of like not late, more as soon as it opened, I created an account and stuff like that with UW and then started applying. Um, throughout high school, I was an avid student, so they'd help us and tell us, you know, here's what you can do, stuff like that. But um, yeah, I kind of procrastinated on my applications, to be honest. I just, like, I just did them, turned them in. The UW application though, specifically that, <laughs> I turned that in like five or ten minutes before it was due, which is not something I'd advise. And if I could go back, I'd most definitely change that. But uh, yeah, so continuing with that, the UW specific application, I'm looking right here for the 2020 freshman like stuff. And it says, the essay prompt tells a story from your life, which I remember that question. And then short response of our families and communities often find us, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Describe the world you come from and how you, okay, um, of it might add to the diversity we do. That, that was, mm, whatever. But those questions were the same when I was applying. All right, so my apologies if I like the camera angle moves or anything. The gimbal's messing with me. It's not cooperating. But I kind of cut it off there when I was talking about the essay questions and stuff like that. And so for my personal statement, it actually helped out a lot answering these questions. My personal statement, basically, growing up wasn't the easiest. And my parents came from Mexico to give their future family a better life. And I am a product of that. And uh, basically, they did their best to provide for me and then my younger brothers after they were born and stuff like that. And because of that, the adversity, all that is why I was able to write or answer these questions so easily. My personal statement covered all of that, how I've gone through all of this growing up, but you know what, I overcame that, I graduated high school, or I'm going to graduate, and here's what I plan to do after high school. I basically talked about how all of that shaped me, and then my future goals. So, I had lots of stories to tell from my life, from things that I had experienced, or that had happened around me, and then I was actually able to answer that second question. Basically, describe the world I come from and how I can contribute to the UW. And additional information and then circumstances, I actually was able to, I, I added that because, or it's an optional section, but I went ahead, talked about the stuff I had gone through, a, not even a little bit more, but I talked about how it impacted my freshman year grades and then basically how I came up from that. Now, that was basically everything regarding the application. Then comes the waiting process, which sucked. But I was like, okay, cool, it's gonna get here. And, uh, or hopefully. And I wasn't given like a golden envelope. It was like gray and white. And I was like, yo, I think I got rejected. 
I opened it up. I freaked out. I was like, yo, I'm in. So now we're just gonna head to like my tips and tricks. That was like all of my application process, my high school information background. Now, when applying, when you're writing your personal statement, taking the standardized tests and then applying, as for the personal statement, talk about yourself in a way that shows that my life has come to this. I want to go to college and here's how this has contributed, how things have contributed to you wanting to go to college or to whatever you aspire to do in the future. Things like that. I mean, it's a personal statement. It's personal. Use what you have to your advantage so that you can shine and be different and distinguish yourself from the rest. Standardized testing, I advise <laughs> practice, prepare beforehand. I didn't do a lot of that. I wish I would have, maybe I would have gotten better scores, but that too. Then when you're applying, answering the essay responses, submitting what you gotta submit, all that good stuff, basically answer truthfully. Once again, make yourself stand out. If there's one thing that I give as a piece of advice from me to you is make yourself stand out. And you're probably like, thank you, thanks. I didn't try that. Uh, basically, be yourself throughout this whole application. Don't try to put on a front, but use what you have had happen in the past to your advantage. I already said that and I'm gonna say it again. Just because we're all different and show how you're different in a good way, you know? So this will probably conclude the video. I can close my laptop now, but thank you for watching. Basically, if you're applying, thinking of applying, already applied, I wish you all the best of luck with college endeavors, whatever it may be. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna plug my Instagram somewhere at Diego underscore Kool-Aid. Go ahead, message me if you have any questions, whatever it may be. But yeah, that's the first time I like plug it, my personal Instagram, but hopefully it can serve as a resource for you guys, for all of y'all. Now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And the day in the life video is coming. Uh, school starts on Monday, it's currently Saturday. Let's make it the best year possible. Thanks y'all for watching.